in and get this done. You know, go ham. But yeah, oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to go back into game. So here we go. Oh my God, and Pashmina. Oh my God, me seeing all my characters. I'm writing them down so I don't forget who I have. All right, so that was Pashmina, I think. It's so hard. It's so hard because I want all of the characters. Elisa, thank you so much for giving a treat to Chewy. Chewy, do you want to come back? Get a treat? He says, yes, I would love to come back. Thank you. Say thank you, Elisa. Um, 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 um. Buy those amiibos. Literally, I probably will. I want to hunt like a couple people though, just for fun. But. <gasps> oh my God, the nostalgia. It's so real. Oh my God. You restarted Stardew a week ago and I'm deep in it. I restarted Stardew recently too, but it didn't, it, it's like scratching an itch and not scratching an itch at the same time. Right now on Sunny Bun. I forgot, that's what I named my, my island, Sunny Bun. It's 11, I wanted it to be the coziest thing ever. It's 1131 on Sunny Bun on a Sunday, March 10th, 2024. Love it. She doesn't have any big news to share with me today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. Oh, horticultura trivia. Okay. Chewie's pieced out again. Oh my gosh. Did you know that the type of year uh, for harvesting bamboo, young spring bamboo, which also reminds me to remind you to get crafty and enjoy some of this season's DIY projects. Have a fun day out there. Thanks, Isabel. <laughs> oh my God. I'm too scared to restart my island. See, this is why you can like live vicariously through me. We're gonna go look at what my island, what was I? Oh my God, I haven't played this since I was a redhead. That's how long it's been. Also, it was Christmas last time I played. Oh my God. Okay, well, hold on. I gotta go change my clothes. Oh my God. The redheaded phase, like, I'm shook. That was like a couple years ago, it feels like. that. I, oh my God. So this is my house. We'll do a house tour, I suppose, first. So this is my dining room. I also am doing this so that I have video footage that I can look back on, honestly, of all the stuff that I had. Okay. I think you can change in the, in this. A refrigerator, should I change? Yes, get changed, yeah. Good memory. It's been a while. Okay, so let's change. Can I change my hair color here? Where do I change my hair color? Anyway, these are all my clothes that I have. Today, we're rocking like a cozy vibe. So I'm thinking maybe we do cozy. Although like a dress would be fun. Like a cute, oh my God, I had all the dresses that I loved. They're all so cute. Oh my God. Ooh, these, I loved, I always loved this fleece pajama look. Oh wow, this is gonna make me a little sad to give all this up. Okay, and then we're gonna do after with this fleece pajamas. I felt like there was like a little headband thing that went with it, right? Like a little hairstyle. Yep, boom, baby. Okay, and then there. I don't want these glasses on. Um, hmm. No, no accessories. We'll do some like cozy little socks and some cozy shoes. Probably like yeah, the matching slippies. And then for backpack, oh man, oh, the cherry blossom pochette that I'm gonna look ah, Just me thinking about all these items that I'm not gonna have anymore that I like worked very hard for. It's a lot, guys, it's a lot. Look at me with my little red hair. I forget how to change my hair. You change it in a mirror. Oh my God, Sprinkle's visiting me. Oh, and he calls me blondie, I forgot, which is ironic because my hair is red at this point. You bought Animal Crossing two years ago, but I really ha I don't understand the game. Well, don't worry. They call me Honey Bee um, because I'm going to be restarting my game. So I'll show you how to how to get it all done. Okay. Hello, Sprinkle. Sorry to show up unannounced. I just really want to see you, Kelsey. Thank you. Okay. Well, this is my also that's Chewy down there. My dog, obviously. Okay. So then through the back here, I don't even remember what each room is. <laughs> you might have to buy Animal Crossing. Oh my God. Do yourself the... The immense favor. Hi, Lexi. Okay, this is my witch, spooky witch room. Oh my god, I forgot it with my anglerfish. And this is where I read your tarot, obviously. Uh, I don't know how to read tarot, but um, look at this wallpaper. Isn't it so beautiful with the little hydrangeas? Ugh. 
Yeah, so this is my witch room. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my nostalgia, I know. I'm gonna go get my Switch to play along with you. Oh my God, how fun. I love that for all of us. Okay, then over here, it's kind of hard to get to. We gotta like squeeze past everything. I think this was the tea room. Is this the tea room? I've honestly forgotten. I can't imagine resetting all this key stuff. Honestly, same. This is my tea room where I have my tea ceremonies with my friends, obviously. And then I've got a little, I think I have a little fish in there. Yeah, this is sad. <laughs> I can't believe I'm letting all this go. I knew that giving a tour would make it worse and I decided to do it anyway. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this tour. I used to have music that would play when you walked in. It would play the like KK slider, like do 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 do. I don't know why it's not playing it right now, but here we are. I think is there. There's like two other floors to this. So this is um oh this is a room that I made over in The Sims and also made over in Animal Crossing, and I made them match. Um, so this was for a video. You can go watch it on my YouTube channel if you're interested in that. I make I remake the same room in three different games. And I think I start with um, Minecraft. So that's kind of fun. The starting over is wild. I know I'm a little f afraid, especially since I put in so much work with Cassie, like getting all the items. <laughs> it's all fun and games until somebody goes home. I hate saying goodbye, but I should head out. All right, yeah, see ya. See ya, Sprinkle. Literally see you never though. Just kidding. I will probably visit you today before I delete everything. Okay, we're saying goodbye. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> This is so sad. You love Animal Crossing? Me too, Jordan. Okay, this is my bedroom. Oh my God, I love my bedroom. It is giving mermaid. And this is where the KK Slider song is. And that moon was so hard to get. Oh my God. Oh man. I'm like kind of devastated looking at, look at my Switch right here. My Animal Crossing Switch. I've got my little reading corner over here. My little reading nook and my get dressed nook. Okay, here's where I can change my hair oh my god <laughs> don't do it what are you <laughs> i know right it's 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 wild it's a wild choice all right there you go i'm blonde again dun, dun. What? Ba, na, 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 na. i love this room oh my god it's gonna be so I haven't been to my island in ages. Me neither. Can you please tell you what got you hooked on gaming? Uh, um, Legend of Zelda was my first big gaming love where I was like, wait, the story, the characters. So this is my arcade. I painstakingly have every arcade machine and they all play all the time, all the music, obviously. And then I have my PC obviously right here and I've got my stars. Here's all my arcades. And then I have this really cool wallpaper that makes me look like I'm in space. Like, how cute is that? We got my uh, my heart rug and my little doodads. We got my little gaming setup over here with my Switch and my TV. And we got my um, really cool floating, you know, whatever it's called, UFO. <laughs> That's my downstairs. And there you have it. I didn't even know how this stuff existed in uh, AC. Yeah, I was very obsessed. Stash your most important things on another island. You can't, you can't make another island, unfortunately. <laughs> it's all or nothing in this game. There's, you can't, you'd have to have to buy a second switch to make a different island, which, you know, like, I don't know if I'm fully against. <laughs> all right, let's open up this mail. This is my, the exterior of my house. I got a little doggy door for Chewy. Tom Nook. Oh, he refunded my miles. Happy Home Academy still says I'm rank S. And my mom sent me a birthday gift. Cute. Thank you, mom. Oh my God, this is gonna be so devastating. Okay, so this is my house. And then if you want, I don't remember fully. Okay, this is my pumpkin patch for Halloween. This is my most prized thing that I did in Animal Crossing. I'm gonna be really sad about it, but it's pretty messy right now. This is my flower field that I painstakingly made ev got every single flower for. <laughs> this is so sad. Well, you threw my poor flower field. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, where does this red come from? I don't know. That's my flower field. <laughs> Getting all the flowers again, I can't. I know. <laughs> the fact that I'm going to 
to give all this up is so devastating. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I should do this, but it's so, it's so messy. This flower, the flowers are so messy. Like this whole island's very messy to me. I'm like kind of over it, but also I don't know. We're on the left side of the island right now. Ooh, butthole. Oh, memories. Um, we've got a little area over here. This little seating area. Oh my God, this dude's visiting. I can't even reach him because all my stuff is blocking him. And then over here, we're at the campsite. This is a, uh, oh, I feel like who's living here? Fang, oh, Fang, I love Fang. Fang's by the campsite. This is my campsite. This is where campers come when they're visiting. Oh, Fang, I need to write down all of my um, characters that I have. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fang. What good is an island if I don't play it, you know? Brooke, thank you so much for sending love. They call me, thank you so much for sending me the game. And Alicia, thank you so much for a heart me. I mean, you can restart on this island. You can keep the stuff you like. You can't restart on the island, I don't think. Okay, who's this? I think this is Bo. Yeah, I already, I think I wrote down Bo already. Yeah, I already wrote down Bo. Okay, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Over here, see, this is not even organized. Shep's house, they're all on the beach right now because like, they were like, unorganized. Shep. Uh, laugh through the pain, it's the right choice. I love that you guys are battling it out. Can we see the map? Uh, yeah, I can show you the map. Let me show you the map really fast. I'm trying to remember everything. All right, so this is my map right now. See, this left side is like not very well organized. The right side's a little better. So we've got all my stuff here. And then these are all of my characters that I have currently. So I have Bo, I have Audie. I need to write them all down. <laughs> so I can try to remember who my favorites are. Oh, Poppy, who's been there with me from the beginning. Oh, we got Fang, we got Poppy. We got Marshall, my boy, my good time boy. We got Pajmina. I already wrote her down. Sprinkle. We have Fauna. Fauna's one of my favorite. I used to have the unicorn. Okay, no, I still do. Julian. And then we have Shep. Who I'm like not as big of a fan of, so I'm like, it's fine if I... Oh my gosh, we're getting raided. What's up? TBH starting over is kind of easier. I feel like it will be so easy because I'll know what I'm doing, you know? All right, so that's my... Um map oh my god my bell tree hmm, r.i.p oh my god there's my girl my girl fauna where do you mean where you been i was running out of ways to fill my days waiting to see you again i'm so sorry fauna i'm gonna literally abandon you in two seconds can't wait to catch up then things yep saying goodbye <laughs> chef says it's the ghost of kelsey i'm just messing with you you've been gone for so long but seriously you're not an actual ghost right hey i didn't die y'all are mean did I do some like nook mile thingy? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. Look how many nook miles I have, by the way. I've got 149,000 nook miles. Okay, so this is where it starts kind of being more decorative in my in my island. So here we go. We've got like my little cafe area on the on this on the boardwalk next to the to the river. Uh, it was Halloween, I guess, the last time I was here. This is my beautiful, you know, fright area before my, uh, beautiful, uh, museum. That's my museum. We're gonna walk down this path right here. We go, I'll, maybe we'll go at the front of the island here. This is my front little entrance. It's very cute. I love my little front entrance that I worked very hard on a couple streams ago. We got, like, a little... A little, like, uh, natural area thing going on up here. Very beautiful. And then you go up here to the right, and we got to the main, like, town center. It's, like, just so messy. There's there's Fang. Hi, Fang. He's under my peach tree. Is there a theme in mind for the restart? Um, cottage core, I think, is what I'm vibing. Or maybe, like, witchy. I don't know. I think on my island, I never managed to get the blue roses. I I think I like took flowers from people. I think people gave me flowers sometimes for that. 
And then I like grew them painstakingly from those flowers that I was gifted. So I don't think I did it all by myself. Here's um, Sprinkle's house. And then we have kind of like the little downtown area. This is where we've got all like our little stores, little shop fronts. We got the sisters, you know, little area with all the clothes. We've got, oh, there's Poppy, my girl. This is uh, someone's house. I think it's Pashmina's house. Yeah, this is Pashmina's house at the baby bookstore. There's my girl, Pop. I love you, Pop. I'm gonna miss Poppy maybe most of all. She was like one of the first characters I got that I fell in love with. Haven't seen you home and no one's been around. I was worried about you. She's like my best friend, Poppy. I'm gonna miss you, Poppy. Ah! I think this is Poppy's house. Yeah, it is. The one house I remember is Poppy's house. Then we go down. Let's like, actually, let's go up and then we'll go back down on the beaches. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna have to, oh, she's fishing. How cute are you, Pop? She's doing some fishing. Okay, so up here we have like a cute little overhang. This is like my Tom Nook store, obviously. Um, you have such an ice island size. Yeah, I did really luck out with my island. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried about it, but it's fine. <laughs> and then we go up this way. And this is towards the back of the island. We have my cute picnic spot. I love the picnic spot. I remember baking that with you guys. We go up here. Obviously, that's my house on the right. And then on the left, who is that? Who's who's this? Who's who's hanging out back here? I literally oh it's oh it's Sprinkle. Okay. Hi Sprinkle. And we just kind of got woods, woodsy areas. And then we have whatever this is, which butthole. I don't know what I was going for up there, but we have something. I think I was moving something up there. I don't remember. Oh, I remember this area though. I loved this little spot. This was cute. My little like camping area. And then up here is like my, uh, what's it called? My lighthouse is up there. That was cute. I love this little area. This one was cute. We got my little lookout spot. No Chewie came today. Chewie's not in the room today. I've tried to lure him back in, but he hasn't come back. So no Chewie cam for now. Um, bro, uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for joining. Oh my gosh, Animal Crossing time. Who's, oh, this is my second house. I have two houses. Wait. I forget, how did I decorate the second house? <laughs> Make sure you don't time travel as it will mess up Disney Dream Up Valley. Oh, I didn't know that it would mess up. Oh, this is my like, my tangled, this is like my Disney princess house. So this is my tangled downstairs. I kind of made it like Rapunzel down here. It's definitely cozy. This is kind of the vibe I think I'm gonna go for for my next island. Did you complete the museum collection? No, I never did actually. I never completed my museum. This is my, oh my gosh, this is my other like spooky summoning area. A little spooky t time with the cloud floor. Loved the cloud floor. I'm glad you're playing Animal Crossing. It's so relaxing to have in the background, right? I was like, how do you get a second house? So you make a second account on your Switch um and then you play as that account so i can't change this house because it's technically another person's account but that's what that's how i do like a lot of like dual saves and stuff with games oh this is my like um this is my studious uh library my studious library yes i recall mm -hmm. <laughs> you can time travel but you have to time travel back to the current day before you do D disney dreamlight oh yeah that makes sense that makes sense. I didn't know it affected Disney Dreamlight, but yeah. Obviously, we're going to have to make a lot of money because that's part of it. Oh, Lynetta, I love you too. Oh, and this is my cozy little sunshiny tea. I was going to put down a little, little, uh, I think I was going to place a um, table here so that those would sit on the table. But this is my, oh, I remember decorating this. Oh my gosh. I could have gone so much more elaborate with some of this stuff. <laughs> Melanie, thank you so much for the resub. And Pumpkin Guy, thank you for the resub. Did I already do the back, this back one? Yes, I did. Okay, let's go upstairs. Is there an upstairs in this cast, this one? Yes, there is. There's an upstairs and a downstairs. I think upstairs is like, like uh, common room vibes. Yep, it's got common room vibes. 
Yep. Yep. And we got the Ron and Harry sweaters. Uh, a different time. A different time, literally. Loving your house. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go downstairs next. And I think that's like the the dungeons, I believe, is downstairs. Yep, the dungeons. We never finished this one with the dungeons. But it's, you know, it's got a cauldron in the dungeons. So there's that. <laughs> Weren't these house themed? Yes, they were technically house themed. But, you know, we don't talk about people who are bigots on this channel. So... <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get switched for your birthday. Oh my gosh, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. All right, so we've gotten mostly a tour of the island. I feel like there's like one other little piece of the island we haven't checked out and that was like my tiki bar. I feel like I have the tiki bar still to go look at. So we're gonna, I don't know why that pathing just stops there too. I was clearly like, in a vibe on the main area and then like just didn't finish this island and now i'm kind of like eh. uh but someday i will finish an island and it's gonna be so cute oh we got turnips today because it's sunday i forgot it's turnip day okay so yeah so this part down this coast of the island i adore watching you on here thank you oh my gosh my girl no you're not leaving I don't know why all these are out here, but slay. There's Audie's, or yeah, Audie's house. We got a little. Is my tiki bar not here? Oh, we got like a little pumpkin area up here. Pumpkins. Do I not have my tiki bar anymore? Did I remove the tiki bar? Oh my god, I might have removed the tiki bar. I think I did, bro. The tiki bar is not here anymore. I used to have a tiki bar. On my island. See, like, I really redid it and I didn't fully finish it. But yeah, that's that's my island tour. Uh, and now, I guess, this is the end of the island tour. So, oops. Okay. I'm like, how do I do this? There's my map. Once again. It's just okay. It's not that exciting. I feel like I was half done with everything and I didn't finish it. Do I have an orchard? No. How did you get gold roses? I forget. <laughs> We're gonna have to find out again. Uh, okay. How do I... Best friends list. Cute. Okay. I'm like, how do I go back to like the main menu? Yes, ready to... Yes. Save and end. Gold roses are from black roses. That's right. Go into data management in the switch settings. We have to go back into data management? Oh no, this is so scary. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Save complete. See you later. See you later. Oh no. This is, this is big. <laughs> This was like, I want to show you guys how many hours I've put into this island. Weren't gold roses something you got once you have a five-star island? I think that was something else. Okay, so I'm going to go into, I want to go into like, how do I show you guys how much, oh, I forgot how to show you guys how much I've truly played of this game. Settings? I felt like there was a way to do it, but I don't remember. I feel like a bad influence. Goodbye, island! <laughs> okay, how do I do it? <laughs> how do I do it? Close software. I think you click your profile. Click your icon. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. 260 hours. <laughs> By comparison, I've only played Disney Dreamlight Valley for 110 hours. And that was just uh, a lot there. You just remote your save. Bestie clocked over. 
you clocked over a 10,000 or no, a thousand hours data management. Okay. No need to shout. Okay. Go to data management, manage software. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Delete software. Is that how you do it? Delete save data. There is no delete save data. Wait, this is a data management delete save. Go back. Okay. Oh my gosh, you would cry. No, not the software. <laughs> Your save data. All the way down. All the way down. What? It's on the actual game. Save data at the very bottom. It's in the game, I believe. In the, so I have to click on the game. I love that you guys are trying to help me out here. I don't see anything here in the opening menu. Go back again. It's not in this menu. Oh, delete save data. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, here we go. This is my first time restarting this game. Here we go, friends. It's happening. It's gonna happen. I need I need some music for this. I need some exciting music. Every besties, it's happening. I'm, I'm like, do I do my Barbie music? I feel like I got, I gotta do intense or dramatic. Let's do some dramatic music for this moment. <laughs> Drama. Let's do epic moments. Big orchestral. Here we go. Maybe. I don't know. Hold on. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to delete all my save data for the Animal Crossing and completely restart from my game. Am I going to also play Animal Crossing in my free time? Yes, probably. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Okay, here we go. I know I promised cozy vibes, but you know, I'm chaotic. Here we are. Okay, guys. It's going to happen. We're going to delete all my save data for the software. Goodbye Island that I put in over 160 hours into, or 260 hours into. We're getting some new beginnings. <laughs> it says, caution, deleted data cannot be recovered. Delete this data. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, besties. It's gonna be great. <laughs> we did it! Animal Crossing's new island! All right, we're starting at the beginning, babies. Let's do it. Hmm, I'm so excited. Those warnings always scare me. I've never deleted. I've clearly never deleted my game data before. I'm free! I'm free! I can play this game again. I just felt so stuck. Now it's like, I get to restart. I get to re-meet Celeste, who's my bestie. Prayers with you, Kelsey. Thank you, guys. You know, you guys can always help me, you know? <laughs> you guys can invite me to my your island and give me stuff if you need to, if you feel bad for me. <laughs> what are we naming the new island? Oh my god, great question. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh my god. I forgot how the intro looks. <gasps> I remember being in quarantine, like first starting this. Good morning, we're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let me be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to completely delete the game and to sign up for a new adventure. <laughs> Welcome to, this is so fun, I'm having a blast. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nookie, which is, I already downloaded. 
Like, I already purchased the, like, DLC where I got to, like, design houses. Like, does that mean I still get to do that? <laughs> okay. I want something very cozy for the name of my island. You cheated and got infinite money. I also did that. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Oh, thank you, Timmy and Tommy. Let's get started. Yay! First step is checking your application. Is it your first time applying for one of our packages? No, I'm moving. Yes, it is. I'm moving. I'm moving. Understood. You're moving off your previous Animal Crossing News Horizon. That's great. Oh no, I'm not doing that. I understand. Oh, I think I did something wrong. What is that noise? Oh, it's them over. I was like, what is that noise? I'm hearing something. It's literally the intercom of like someone talking over the intercom. Oh, Cozy Grove didn't already exist. Oh, that would be a good one. Cozy Grove. Something with like islandy vibes. Oh, you want to cancel the moving process? Yeah, yeah, cancel it. <laughs> we'll cancel all processing on our packages. Take care, care. What? Okay, I messed up. I guess we have to close this. Shady Palms, Cozy Bay. Cozy Bay sounds cute. I've reset for funsies once, but I also reset for transferring to a new system. Uh, like you got, oh, Sunny, Sunny Palms. This sounds so cute. I love Sunny Palms. Um, yes, Animal Crossing, I'm so excited. Thanks, Karina. I was hoping I wasn't disappointing everybody by playing a different game today, but I was like, I was in the mood. Oh my gosh, we've got a request for a stretch. Thank you, Naharis. Ooh, big stretch. And the one who eats cats. Wow. Let's take a deep breath together. Let's take a deep breath in. And I can breathe out. We're restarting. Power Crossing. Thank you for the dab. I love the crossing in your name. Uh, Chartreuse Moose, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you so much for being here. There we go. And Eden Air would like to take a deep breath together. Let's take a deep breath in. And take a breath breath out. All right, we're getting started. Yes, it is. Understood. Now we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Yes, you can. My name is Kelsey. Oh. This is so cute. Oh. Eh. And my birthday is 7 11. No relation to the convenience store. I like Sunny Palms. Islandia. Ooh, Islandia is cute too. Sunny Palms sounds like a retirement home. Hey! Maybe it is my retirement home. <clears throat> Next step will be to take a picture of you, Kelsey. Don't worry. Take as much uh, time as you need to get yourself looking the way you want. Okay. We're going to make me Sunnydale. That's really cute. I like Sunnydale too. Stardrop Island. <gasps> you guys know I love celestial things. That might be a winner for me. Let's do that. For hair. Oh my gosh, I just realized I don't have like a million hairs. I have to do the basic hairs again. This is disappointing. I forgot I only have like three hair options. It's fine. Let's do a little eye flick vibe or what is the, I think I had like this one. I could do like these. Oh, so cute. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm so boring. I just do the same thing over and over again. I think my eyes are, I mean, my eyes are kind of gray, blue, green color. It's not really any of these colors. 
Let's do a little nose like that. A little, can we do a little smile like that? Oh, it's so cute. And then we'll do a little blushy cheek. Confirm. Yes, I look adorable. It looks, she just looks just like me. <laughs> cozy book. Oh, cozy book is cute too. Okay, you're all set. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now let's start talking about your new home. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. If you want, you could experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. Northern or Southern Hemisphere. Choosing an island that has the same seasonal patterns as your current home. Where do I live? I live in North America. Yeah. Naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? Yeah. Very good. Moon Bay. <gasps> Moon Bay. Starry Point Luna Bay. Luna Cove. I like Luna Cove. I also like Star Drop Cove. Ah, Star Drop is so cute. Starry Point. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are getting, we're, we're narrowing in on the cozy name for sure. <laughs> Luna Cove. Then all of your islands are approximately the same size. They're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Oh yeah, I had a really good island set up. I wonder if this new island, I'm gonna like it or not. Celestial Cove. Ooh, I wanna watch the world burn. Yeah, that's me. That's me today. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. Yay! Okay. Oh, okay. I think mine was like this one. Mine was pretty close to this one. I like that this one is like the main center is lined up with the um, entrance. I also kind of like this one, the little wishbone vibe. Which one do you think? Should oh, Book Isle. You're not wrong, Blitzy. Can we visit your island soon? I don't think it's allowed to be visited yet because I'm just starting it, but maybe. Botanical Bay. That's so cute. Okay, so like upper left or bottom right? Which one are you guys thinking? Starlight Grove. Oh, that's so cute. The first one, like one or four. Me too. I'm also a one or four growing. Upper left. Upper left. The Wishbone. Do you use amiibo cards? Yes, I did use amiibo cards before. Ooh, upper left. I like the more space between my dock and the town center. That's true, it is kind of nice. Okay, let's do upper left then. In worst case scenario, if I, I walk around and hate it, I can just start this first process over again. <laughs> Sorry, oh, people who are fans of the non-wishbone. We're going wishbone on it. Starfall. <gasps> Starfall Bay. Starfall is bookish. And, wow, we might have a winner from, I don't know, Starfall Bay is very cute. That's a good one. Wishbone for extra wish power for all those stars. Exactly, it has got good vibes. Do you, can you only bring one thing with you to a deserted island? What would it be? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. I think I would bring some food, I like food. <laughs> How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. <laughs> Jimmy! Nook Island will fully cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Aww. Um, so Akatar Island? <laughs> Wait, is that the theme? <laughs> it's, it's Valaris. The charted flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. And even customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. It's me. Uh, stars and coziness. Literally. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. If it was Akatar themed, what if each area was themed after like a different court? So like there's like a court of like night and it's like a celestial vibe and then there's like a spring court and maybe there's like a summer court and i have like different parts of the island to different areas <laughs> so even if you don't like 
a guitar, you can still kind of get into it because like one's like fall autumn themed and one's like winter themed and one's like night themed and one's like <laughs> flame fox. OMG, Animal Crossing, I missed it. Flame fox, I just deleted my whole island and I'm starting over. So, you know, if I go down in flames, I'm going to be messaging Cassie. <laughs> Being like, hey, bestie, <laughs> can I pick up some stuff? <laughs> Cassie was always the one that would give me things that I needed. <laughs> the dedication. I don't know. We'll see how dedicated I am to this new island. Perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together. Yay. Akatar Island is it. It's the theme. Oh, I think I'll do Island Getaway for my theme. Ooh, I love that. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my god, island visit? Listen, I'll visit anyone's island. <laughs> I'll visit you guys' islands. We'll have to do get that document back again. This could be me. Oh, the little bug catching and the gathering. This is the wholesomeness. I miss the wholesomeness. Cute. Oh, my fauna. Goldie! Remember when I had Goldie? I had Goldie once, too. I wonder who I'm gonna get. I'm very excited. Oh my god, I had one of those photos, too. Oh, this is bringing back so many fond memories for me. <gasps> my girl, Poppy! Oh, I went on, like, little, like, hangouts with my friends when we were like all uh covid it up we'd go visit each other's islands when they we had star falls and stuff this was so fun oh my gosh eden Ann, thank you so much for giving two community gifted subs that's so generous of you indo blonde thank you so much for requesting a deep breath together let's take a deep breath in and let it out i got back on the other day because it was my birthday i love the parties oh that's so cute I started out with Sprocket and Agnes. Ooh. Ooh. Did you restart recently? Or is that like your first your st first one? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Ooh. We got my little campsite. I forgot what it looks like when you start. Oh, I got peaches. Bro, I had peaches on my island to start too last time. Heck yeah. Peaches. Peaches for peaches. It's my last name. It's in Peachy K. Oh, <laughs> me judging my Islanders. Like, ew. one of those I don't love. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so scared to reset. I'm too attached. <laughs> this is part of the fun. We're here now. I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now, so if you move L to follow us. Oh my god. This, this like, athlete, uh, this athlete, weird moose thing, not into it. This, this animal I'm into. Deirdre. Deirdre? We can chat later. I want to see what this is going. Okay, Deirdre. You're kind of sassy. I don't know how that is. <gasps> Look at the peaches. Give me peaches. Pick it up. Can I pick it up? Pick it up. They won't let me pick anything up yet. Or maybe I don't remember the button. Yeah, I can't pick anything up yet. Probably don't have like a backpack. Okay, yeah, these villagers gotta go. My OG villagers were Jay and Hazel and I was like, oof. Oh, yeah. Choose a different island. <laughs> I do kind of like, like how this is though. It's cute. You know, it's cute. It's cute. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. You had her on your old island. Restart. We don't hate on my girl Hazel. I like Hazel. Blue airport. That's a good one. Oh, is it blue? I think mine was like orange or something. I didn't like it. All right. Is that everyone? Let's see. We can always use my amiibos. I have some. I feel like I have some amiibos in my closet and I, I want to whip them out and see what I got still. Um, is Deidre here? She's here. You can just replace them later. Exactly, Karina. I will be replacing these. And Coach. Yeah, Coach is like my least favorite. It's always good to have a least favorite Islander for a while just so you can rag on them a little bit and blame everything on them. 
And there's me in my weird outfit. Mr. Nook, these three adventurers are ready to get started. They have so many. You have such a cute name. So do you, Kelsey. They have so many athletes. Yeah, I'm not into the athletics ones. <laughs> Let's see, how shall I begin? Okay. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Ton Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of our new island life in this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. This is a package deal. Hmm? And such new ink staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety and steal your money. But first things first. Yes, yes. I'd like to each of you to choose a spot of, of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. Dream big. I do have certain connections in construction, real estate, and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to put it. All right, we're going to collect our tent. Come here. I like your flag, Tommy. Oh, thank you. Timmy and Tommy can do no wrong in my eyes. Once you find this perfect spot, press to access your inventory, then select your tent. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. I haven't played in years. I'm curious to remember how my island is now. Yeah, go check it out. And you want a little breathing room. You can take your time finding space that works for you. Oh, I suppose you should set up with your map too. How much effort does it take to move my house? It's a lot, right? Once you're put up on your tent, please find your way back here. Use your map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Okay, we got to look for my spot. And take a little tour of the Wishbone Island. There's the downtown center. We got a little ways to walk. Ooh, we got a nice little waterway here. Can go all the way up. Tom Crook. Oh, truly. Yeah, it won't let me pick anything up yet. <laughs> R.I.P. <gasps> Look at this cute natural waterfall. I love it. Can I hop across yet anywhere? This is too big, I think. Yeah, this is too big. Wait, can I not get any? Okay, I can't. <laughs> I need bridges to go to the other parts of my island, I think. Yep, I can't. I'm like stuck in this little middle section. Well, that's funny. Oops. Like. Yeah, I don't even have my phone yet, so I can't. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, since maybe I want the background of the waterfall near my little tent. So maybe we'll do... Gosh, I just want to jump over there. Okay. We'll do tent maybe here. This seems like a good, good a spot as any. You need one of those poles. Okay, maybe you can swim to the other sections. I don't have a bodysuit yet. Ooh, I should have put my tent here. I want to imagine it. Let's see what it looks like right here. That's kind of cute. I like it. That's cute. Yeah, that's a good spot. I love it. Oh, Cicely Witt, thank you for the rose, the game controller, and the heart me. I think once you unlock you, the relocate the house, he just lets you do it once for free. And if not, it's just money. Okay, so you can do it the first time for free and the rest is money. So it's like, I remember it being kind of a pain to relocate your house. Instead of my first head, this is my first big step. Yay! I love it. We got a little yellow tent too. Can I go inside? He needs to tell me more things. Okay, I gotta go back. Look at my new island. I love it. Okay, Mr. Nook, tell me more. Yes, I did find a suitable. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Does that mean I gotta go find them? Where are they? Okay. Well, my tent's up there. Oh, there she goes. Hi, DJ. You're, wait, I got it. Don't tell me, you're Kelsey. I'm Deidre. Deirdre. I gotta tell you, I'm excited for this whole island thing. What else? 
Um, you already found a good spot, huh? Yeah, I found a great spot. Don't be jealous. I feel like I need to adjust my camera or my game a little bit here. Yeah, the Elgato guy. I'd be like, can I make him a little smaller for you guys so you guys can see more on Twitch? I'm like, or on TikTok. There you go. I was like, I feel like you guys should be able to see at least most of it. There you are. Um, oh, cool. I've heard I've never seen it. You're welcome. Uh, I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking over it forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw a stick, but I'm still liking this. It looks good to me. I don't really care at this point where they put their stuff. I don't like her catchphrases, whatevs. <laughs> Not my favorite. I did my name Frost in Animal Crossing. Cute. Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, okay, indecisive. Oh, we're no, we're just matching it. Oh, that looks very cute. Yeah, let's do it. Looks great. Making me all inspired to work on my island. I just love the start of Animal Crossing. So cozy, right? It's so cozy. From now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home, sweet home. Aww. Cute. I love it. Seriously, Sian, thank you so much for asking for a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath in and let it out. Perfect. Oh, you rock, whatevs. Whatevs. <laughs> what are our coach guys doing? I literally couldn't care less about coach. Much trouble as I was, maybe you should go see if he needs help too. I guess I will. I literally can't pick up anything. Pick it up. Nope. All right, I'm just gonna walk the perimeter of this island. Not a lot to see, to be honest. There's my tent. No one goes near my tent, not in this house. gonna build it on the beach oh there he is what's up coach you're you're not long for this okay to pick up press y i am pressing y i don't have like a backpack i don't think the game's letting me do it yet i'm coach you're kelsey right nice to meet you stubble stubble great that's his catchphrase stubble awesome as soon as i can <laughs> As soon as I can, you're off this island, coach. You're first to go. <laughs> you already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. You'll be doing... Oh, his eyebrows are so intense. I'll be doing some serious cardio. Great. So it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think? Uh, Yeah, it looks good to me. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> He's scaring me. Yeah, he's the lot. What animal is he? A ram, maybe? I don't know. You think so? Awesome. Maybe like a bull? And then how about we do a little visualization exercise? Sure. I know Coach is the guy at the gym who walking over to give you tips on form. Truly. And you're like, I don't need tips. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, it looks great. As long as it's out of the way from my tent. Never look back, stubble. You think a bull? Yeah. This is a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. I already helped uh, Deirdre. You're like, like a true champion. Oh, thank you, coach. That was very sweet, even though I hate you. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm going to reward you for this one. I've settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza. Strubble. Only sporty villager that I actually like is Bam. Bam. Yeah, I'm not into the sporty villagers. I hope you all just found the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We just need a few supplies to get started. Yeah, since we'll be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Okay, we can set up things here in the plaza. Kelsey and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Kelsey, would you come see me for a moment? 
Okay. I feel like I'm being called to the principal's office. What do you need, boy? Wanted to go over what we need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches to do the trick. Okay. And then find them lying and just press Y to pick it up. Yep. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing on the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. They are real peaches. I have knocked several down. Okay. Here we go. We're going to pick up. There we go. I can finally pick things up again. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's also a thing I'm going to pick up. We're going to pick up the peaches. Whoop. I'm finally allowed to pick stuff up. I love the, the weeds right now. They look very cute on this island. I don't think my weeds looked like that before. Was this an update? How many things do I have in my inventory right now? How do I see my inventory? I don't know. I, I lost count, though. Okay, that's a safe. No. I don't know how to look at my inventory. Is X? There we go. Okay, I got eight. Perfect. Thank you. That's nine. Pick these up. I do want to look at my... Oh, yeah, I like the blue. That's cute. For... Perfect for Starfall Island. I also like the idea of Stardust Island. Stardrop Island is cute. Stardrop Cove. I still like Stardrop. I think that's really cute. Just don't worry about it. I'm just going to be collecting everything right now. I love the peaches. They look like little butts. So cute. Okay, we got 14. We're more than more than ready for this event. All right, I'm ready. I did find even more than you asked. I will find good. Here you go. Plenty for a campfire. I did make quick work. Aww. Our next tech is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like peaches. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine peaches, so will you collect six of them? I already collected enough peaches. <laughs> well, then I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. Aye, aye. Yes, an Animal Crossing stream, little beanie. Having your, uh, hope you're having a beautiful day. I am having a beautiful day. A DIY for a, a type of ice cream. I don't know. It's a good question. Is there a DIY for a type of any type of ice cream, like a cone or a cup? Now that is everything. Yes, yes, I believe it is. Now let's get started with the festivities. Yay! I'm good, gamer girl. How are you doing? Yay! This is so cozy. We got a treat for Chewy. Do you think we'll lure Chewy back in here? Chewy, you want a treat? Chewy, you want a treat? Come here. Got the bag. Chewy. Okay, he said no. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna return your give Chewy a treat to you, Maddening Music. Cause he literally he's I don't know what he's up to, but he's he's doing his own thing right now. We can't see him here. I I'd switch back over for him, for you guys if uh if he showed up, but he didn't. So he's not in the room. Alas, allow me to properly welcome you to our new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Chewy literally said, I'm busy, mom. I would rather sit on the couch this morning. Yeah, seriously. What type of island are you going to build? I think like a cozy, like kind of celestial fantasy kind of vibe, maybe. I participated in many ventures and adventures over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my abilities 
by business acumen. Perhaps my skills in an endorsement? Hmm, oh ho. Now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call it a deserted island anymore. Hmm, what should we call it? Here we go! It's time to decide! Great opportunity! First residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, who should put it about? Majority rules, hmm? Take a little time and think when everybody's ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, well, my idea is the one that wins, though. So, I think I'm going to go Star Drop Cove if it works. If it's not too long. Because I like the idea of Star Drop. Starfall was cute, too. Oops. Star Drop. But I think Star Drop's just, like, a lot, like, just more cutesy, you know? And I'm going for cutesy vibes. Oh, oh, there's Chewie. He's barking at something. <gasps> I can't do cove. It's too long. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Chewie's still protecting his bone. He's standing on business. I named my island Stardew Islandia. You could just name it Star Drop. Starfall Cove. I think that's going to be the same amount of letters, but let's try. We could try Bay. Yeah. Star. Starry Cove. Um, Tropicana and I have oranges. Starry Bay. Sundew is cute. Star Bay. Dew Drop. Starry Bay. Hmm. Star Love. Luna Cove. We did like Luna Cove. Let's try that one. That's less letters, I think. Space. Ooh. C. O. E. Luna Cove works. There you go. Luna Cove. Valaris. Luna is cute. I like it. Me too. I think Luna Cove is cute. So there we have it. Luna Cove it is. Yeah, I like it. Is everyone ready? Thank you guys for helping me name my island. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you so much for the rose as well on TikTok. All right. Is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go. Isla de Biceps rocks a lot. Wow. I don't like these villagers. <laughs> Now for boating. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Kelsey seems to have the enthusiasm and the nating sensibilities. Let's start there. So Kelsey suggested Luna Cove. Yeah, claps. I couldn't clap for my own. Overwhelming positive response. Each and every one of you clap. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we should just go with Luna Cove. Yeah, their ideas were all terrible. How is Isle de Biceps not too long? Literally, Karina. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Luna's your daughter's name. That's a beautiful name. I love that. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Splendid. Now from then on, our island will be known as Luna Cove. Well, Kelsey, since you've proven yourself by naming Luna Cove, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'd need to make on this island. Yeah, I hereby name you the resident representative of Luna Co. <gasps> Thanks, guys. Would you please say a word or two as this out the spokesperson of your neighbors? A word or two. <laughs> hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island and we've settled on a resident prince resident representative 
It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late. So let's have a toast. I'm starting on my game. I can't resist any longer. Karina, join me on the dark side. Rocks a lot. I know. It's like, what, what do you, what does you mean? <laughs> Absolutely was just killing me. Catherine, thank you so much for the paper. Is that a paper crane? The paper cranes. I appreciate that. I'll be downloading Animal Crossing so I can play along for the first time. <gasps> yes. Play along with me. Everyone have a beverage in hand. Oh my God. Those look so yummy. They've got little mint in them. Where'd they even get those? It's fresh juice made from peaches. Okay, there you go. Answered. Answered. And our new resident representative harvest on this very island. Thank you. Then without further ado, a toast to Luna Cove and the happiness of its residents. Yay. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> so cute. When books said naming sensibility, uh, he was throwing shade on the others and I love that. Literally though. Ari Strukatz, do it. You should restart your island with me. Dun, dun. Oh, look, Caitlin's just, just popped in. It's Animal Crossing herself. I'll just, I'll just talk to everybody. Aww. Oh, we're gonna give us something with Dr. Nook. Dr. Nook, Mr. Nook. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, whatevs. Okay. And you. It almost feels like we're a family. You can call me bro. I won't be, but thank you. You're first on my list to go. How are you, Timmy? Oh, he's saying the same thing as Tommy. Okay. Well, what else? <laughs> Just steal a phrase. All right, let's do it. Mr. Nuck. Having a good time, yes? Yes, Michelle Co, thank you so much for giving a community gifted sub. What, 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 what's that sound? <gasps> a wild Oprah appeared! What type of books would you recommend? Because I've been obsessed with books lately. I recommend, if you're interested in fantasy, I recommend um, anything by Naomi Novik. That's such a good writer for fantasy or anything by, uh, or Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is like a fantastic book. Every time I've recommended that, people love it. Um, what other things would be great? If you're into into romance, I recommend Allie Hazelwood. Especially if you're into YA romance, she wrote a um, YA book called Check and Mate. That one I devoured. It was so fun. Uh, if you're into like time travel, I think Invictus was time travel. That one was really solid. Um, if you haven't read any of the Caraval series, I really recommend Caraval. Um, uh, Invisible Life of Adi LaRue is so good. Yeah, it's really good. If you like um, murder mysteries in YA, um, the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is really fun. That was a fun one I enjoyed. Um, Caraval and Once Upon a Broken Heart, yes. Start with Caraval, it's a trilogy, and then move on to Once Upon a Broken Heart after. It's also a trilogy. I would argue Once Upon a Broken Heart is better, but I loved Caraval too. Um, I, the second and third books are my favorite of Caraval. Um, yeah, I haven't read the author yet. Well, yeah, Naomi Novik is really good. She does a really good job with like writing fantasy that feels like folklore. Like it feels really realistic and she wrote a really good fantasy series. I think it's Golden Enclave series, I think is Naomi. Um, and she wrote, uh, it's kind of like a wizarding school, but if the school is trying to kill all of the students, <laughs> it's a fun time. Bone Shard Daughter is fantastic. So is the Bone Witch. I have not read those, but they are great. Um, Indo Blonde, thank you so much for gifting. Oh my gosh, 10 gifted subs for us to reach our sub goal. Thanks so much. Of course, I could talk about books forever. I am having a good time, Tom Nook. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like ta taking a short nap in your tent, okay, we will keep the fire burning. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. You probably want this. What is it? My camping cot. I gotta put it in my tent. And there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Just a few items that might be useful. Use things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, it's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Kelsey. Yay! The Animal Crossing music is the best part, honestly. 
I love the music. Sometimes I just, when I want to relax, I put on this music. Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for gifting a sub, uh, community sub gift. Animal Crossing is so adorable and the gameplay is amazing. I love it. Owl House is such a fun uh, show. I agree with that. Ooh, I got a little radio. What's this one? <gasps> a little light. Okay, I'm gonna turn that on. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to pick that up and then I'm going to put down the cot. Perfect. Oh my God, why is it army? Is it it's fine. I mean, like, I wish I remembered how to turn things. Oh, it's gonna be so annoying playing this game again and being like, I don't remember half of the things to do. Good enough. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna leave that on. Perfect. Okay, good night. Oh, it's it's A. You do it like this. You do it like this. Bop. Yeah. Okay, I remember this now. So I can go like, wow. Okay, cool. Ah, crap. How do I get in it? No. That's how I pick it up. Okay, me, not me hardly remembering this game. I don't remember. You just walk into it. That's right. <gasps> ah! That took me forever. Rest my head for a little while. Yes, let's rest. Good night. Will this go on YouTube as well? Yes, it will. Ooh, she's vibing. The wholesome, chill vibes in Animal Crossing. Me too. I was like, I need this right now. Life has been really stressful lately, I feel like, for all of us. We've been, like, kind of dealing with it all. So I was like, you know what? I'm back in my Animal Crossing era. Ooh. Yes, KK. Tell me everything. That's all the right way, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules. The world was made for exploring, KK. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. <laughs> I will get to beans right after KK finishes chatting with me. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grant soul. <laughs> Actually, let me start the little vote for you guys for the bean now. Do, 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 do. Do, do, Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling in this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, that's a dog. There's no way he's not a dog. KK is a dog. On my island, I have all story stores lined up in front of a river, like a river street. Oh, I love that. That's really cute. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. All right, maybe it's about time for you to wake up for your new life. Oh, listen up. That's rap I just gave you about friends. It's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals around. Pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. Ah, we'll be in sync with real time. Cat is slang for a cool person, which he clearly is. Oh, he's a cool cat. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the bean the bean prediction is up. So if you want to predict, uh, do so now on Twitch. Oh, what's up, Morgie? Welcome. Kelsey. Yes, Tom. Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woke you up. You did. That's fine. I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go out. I don't have any clothes to change into, so it's great. Uh, oh my gosh, you remind me of Star for the st uh, from Star for the, the Forces of Evil. I love Star, and I actually have a Pop Funko of Star on my shelf because she is my soulmate. I really relate to her, so that's very sweet of you to say. There you are. I hope you have had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Wow, I needed that. Yeah, I could go back to sleep right now myself, to be honest. 
Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and have a major life event. Your two old nieces is Swifty. Oh, and she had a little guitar. That's so sweet. Anything good you're reading now? Right now, I'm reading Prisoner's Throne, which is like the next in the Holly Black, like newer series that's related to The Cruel Prince. I'm liking it pretty well. It's clipping along. Like I kind of, I kind of like blinked and I missed half the book almost, but I didn't miss it. Like I remember it. It's just like, it felt like it went by so quick. Um, but yeah, it's been fun so far. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I'm also reading, um, uh, I'm planning to read like one dark window. Is that what it's called? It's like a, a new duology that's gaining in popularity right now. Um, let me remember what it's called. Oh, that's good. You'll like it. Yeah, I'm liking The Prisoner's Throne. It just came out, so that's why. One Dark Window. Yeah, it's a duology. It's about like a girl who has a monster like in her head. And I was like, this sounds interesting. I definitely want to read that duology. So everyone's been talking about it. So I'm going to pop on that one. Our other Sarah GMS is other series good. I'm on Book of Four of Avatar. Akatar. I really enjoyed them. I didn't love them as much as I loved Akatar. Akatar is like more of my kind of my kind of vibe, but I still really like all the other um, Sarah J Mass books and I've read all of them, including she wrote a book with DC Comics for Catwoman. And I feel like a lot of people don't know about that or talk about it, but she did. And that one's really good too. <laughs> Why do I seem so familiar to you? I, I don't know your life, so I don't know. But I'm going to guess that maybe you saw me on the internet once before. Perhaps on BuzzFeed? Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might be find useful as you, you adjust to your life in a little paradise. Do Twitch videos ever get uploaded to your YouTube channel? Ever not get to uploaded? Sometimes the ones that are brand deals don't get uploaded. So the one I did recently of Disney Dreamlight Valley probably won't get uploaded because it was a brand deal. Um, even though I enjoyed it, um, because like kind of for, you know, because like they didn't like pay for it to be uploaded on YouTube and it feels like a weird line to like uploaded a branded thing to YouTube. So most of the time those don't get uploaded and every once in a blue moon, I'll like forget to upload like a little chunk of a series. Like for example, there was like one series I did where I was doing like a Sims, I think it was like a Sims like one of those, like, what's it called? It was like one of those scenarios that they have. And I like, there was like three episodes of it and I never uploaded it. Um, but that's it. Everything else gets uploaded. I think it's just like that one series one time didn't. And then brand deals don't always get uploaded. You've restarted your island too, doing um, that thing's uh, different now that I know what's happening. Yeah, it's kind of fun, like already kind of knowing what's going to go down. First, you'll need one of these. Yes. Yes. Give me, yes, give me my phone. Thank yeah. you. It's your own Nick phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Oh, my, my case is green. <laughs> it's not changed to whatever I want. I want to make sure it's working right. So you could you try turning it on for me? Yeah. What about, welcome. Let's see. Oh my God. I have like no apps. <laughs> Yeah, also Twitch, yeah, if you want to watch on, like, t these streams uh, past, in the past and I didn't upload it yet, you can watch them on Twitch as well. Good, good, look like you're getting some good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> what theme are you doing? I think, like, cozy, ma mainly cozy, foresty, natural vibes, but also with, like, a little bit of, like, celestial and, like, different seasons and stuff. Kind of Akatar, but like Akatar meets Animal Crossing. <laughs> Is it safe living on an island with water levels rising? Maybe not. I don't think so, but I don't know. Say, Kelsey, have you ever used a smartphone? You sure have. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. We simply remove most of the features. There's also a very useful app that contains advice for living here. Normally, this would not be free of charge, but as you're just getting started, consider an extra bonus. It's called Island Life 101 and it is a message delivery service of sorts. Feel like giving it a try? I don't need it. You're quite certain? Well, I suppose figuring out all your own way around new surroundings can be a fun adventure too. Yes, if you change your mind, you can always get the app later at resident services. I don't want it, but we'll find out if I need it. That's enough about the app for now. I do have one more thing for you, however. 
My itemized bill. <laughs> I do play Sims 4. Normally I do. I play it on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays, but today, this Sunday I'm trying something new. Um, so this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nick phone. Hmm? Bringing... I'm sorry. I forgot that he did this. And it was so much. I forgot this moment. <laughs> Forty-nine thousand. I don't even have any bells yet. Are you so happy? He's like, this is the best. I love this. Sir, you just ruined my day. He charged you for labor when I did everything. Literally, literally, I set up the tents. I set up all three tents. What did you do? Put a box in my tent? Okay, bro. Literally jail. This is why I fell off Animal Crossing, New Horizons. No Dark Lunar Lotus. The best is when you play. You got to play the turnip market and then bells are never an issue ever again. <laughs> you got to join an Animal Crossing, you know, community. You can do so on our Discord. Uh, you guys, we used to have an Animal Crossing like area on our Discord where we would talk about it. I think now we just have games. But you guys can, you guys can share whenever you guys are having, you know, good turnip prices and go buy all your bells there and then sell them all. And just make that cash money. Okay. You got this. Oops. All right. Okay. Bells. Okay. You jerk. Well, then wait. You don't have any bells. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Yeah. Of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for this exactly type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can... Pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I can call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Luna Cove. Oh, it's so cute when he says it. Which you can join the Discord. Yeah, there you go. Join the Discord. Do you have any advice on study methods? Because I've been really struggling with tests. Ooh, my... So I'm ADHD, so I had to, like, learn how to study... And it's been a while since I've studied, thankfully. But my big thing was I'm, I was much better if I tried to take it in small increments. Um, and I would try to do it in multiple tactile ways. So I would like write, physically write note cards for each of my items for the test, things I needed to memorize and stuff like that. And so I would do that for, and I would set a timer and you can set it for however many minutes you need. So you could be like 30 minutes or like an hour, however your attention span is, you can adjust it. And then you give your like self like a five to 10 minute break in between to like doom scroll, do whatever you want to do. And then you just keep doing that for the rest of the day. You just give yourself a little break. Sometimes your breaks can be longer. Sometimes your work time can be longer. Just keep, keep going back and forth until all the stuff gets done. Um, so yeah, definitely I write down all the stuff on note cards and the practice of writing stuff really helps me mentally to study and then, you know, work on this flashcards once you have all the flashcards done. And that's kind of like my main thing that I would do. I dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. Yeah, make it a game. Yeah, set a timer, try to beat your clock. Um, you know, give yourself a treat at the end of each of your little timer sessions. Yeah, you're going to do great. You're going to nail it. Um, you can always join study groups, uh, which is always helpful. You can look online for like YouTube videos that discuss the topic. Just make sure it's like accurate, right? Um, but any different ways you can learn things. Sometimes I would record my, because I'm an audio person too. Sometimes I would record information and then play it back to me. I did that a lot when I was memorizing lines for like acting things. I would like record, I would video, like record myself reading stuff and then and play it back on loop sometimes while I was driving. Um, body doubling can also help. I don't know what that is. Pomodoro method. It works. Yeah. The Pomodoro method. Uh, you can use them to pay back your moving fees and much more. So the bottom line is you need 49,800 bells to pay for your moving fees. But with this new service, would you believe it only comes to 5,000 miles? Great. I used to have over a hundred thousand miles. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and make registers so you can pay in miles. There are more details available with your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. You can see what you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. 
If you excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Luna Cove and a client of Nook Inc. Yay! Just having someone there to uh, who's doing something that you don't, but you don't talk helps me focus, focus on cleaning. Yeah. Should I buy a maid dress in Animal Crossing? Yes. I love my maid dresses. I bet you're missing the money trees right now. I am missing those money trees right now. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo. It's okay. I can make my own money trees, I think. Match the flow of time in the real world. Do not test the power button. Auto save. We'll quit your game after pressing... Great. Okay. Let's get some mail. Ooh, paradise photo. Congratulations on your big move. Oh, Chewie's back in the room. We'll show off a little Chewie cam moment. Look at Chewie. He came to say hi. Look at my little man. He says hi, mommy. I was busy with my own stuff. Here, we'll show Chewie a really quick TikTok. There's my dog, if you're new here. I'm a man, by the way. It doesn't matter. You you get that, you get that dress. Oh, so cute. Congratulations on your big move. Ew, Chewie, someone gave you a tree. It's a carnelian gremlin who gave you a treat, Choo Choo. Can you catch it? Chewy, I remember him from videos. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, he's all grown up. All right, Chewy, can you catch it? <gasps> what a great catch! Good job! You're actually doing homework and studying for the test right now. Oh my goodness, good luck! I'll just Chewy when you got him. He was, uh, I think, like eight weeks old. Congratulations on your big move. I hope you can enjoy your new island life. I actually vlogged the picking up Chewy and like the whole process. So if you're interested in watching Chewy grow up, you can do so on my YouTube channel. They're called Pup Dates. Uh, and I have like a whole playlist of it as him as a puppy. And he was very cute puppy. They're old. They're like pre Buzzfeed days. So like I, you know, they're not the best vlogs. Probably editing quality is like not the best, but they're still pretty cute. Uh, hope you enjoy this new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Ooh, okay, give me that gift though. Okay, I wanna know what these things are. Paradise planning photo. And open my present. It's a simple DIY workbench. Yes, I wanna memorize that. I wonder how I can memorize it. Oh, I don't know how yet, I guess. What's this item? Oh, it's a little photo. Okay, well, I'm gonna just keep that, I think. For now. All right, and let's check out like our little Nook Miles. Okay, we're in the Nook Mile program. I already know how to do it, kind of, maybe. We got some, we got 500. Okay, we only need 10 times this. Okay, so angling for perfection, you got the bug and island together. Okay, we need to work on those. <gasps> Custom designs! Oh my gosh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I know what these are. Passport? Aw, oh, my little passport information. Aw. I can add a short, short, like, little comment to my profile. That's cute. There's my island map. There's me, there's Deidre, and there's Coach. And we got a little camera to take photos. Nice. Okay. Well, right now, I think I need to go ch chat to Mr. Nook. I need, like, a fishing pole and everything. Oh, what is he? What is up with you? Let's chat. What are you up to? Pumped about that spot you helped me pick out for my tents. Thank you for the push. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Oh, he gave me his gift. Oh, it's a cap. I bet it's ugly. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to wear that, but thank you, I guess. What's up? You already got a fishing pole? I want a fishing pole heart can't hear it okay oh yeah i got some more nook miles because i said hi to people yes all right there we go unhindered wallflower the new 
things I've unlocked. You don't want to redo your island now, too. I know, right? Isn't it fun? Okay. Hello? Is, is Isabel here yet? I want Isabel here. I bet she's not, though. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, TikTok. <laughs> ah, you're so right, Ali Bammy. Thank you so much for saying something. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite cozy here. I didn't really do much, if that helps. I just talked to some people. I didn't actually see what they gave me. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if your advice, who to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. We can procure some of the essentials for thriving on our little island paradise. If you want to earn some bells, he has a gathered generous policy of purchasing about anything. It's not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. One more important thing. I'm offering free DIY workshop that you can help you build out your island experience. Yes, that's what I need. Yes, I would love to take you up on that. Here's like a little... Oh, the box. It's the recycle box. Using it for items removed during construction and such. If you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. Yeah, I want to see. I don't want a cardboard box. What's up, my boy? We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. <gasps> yes, get stuff. I don't have any money. Campfire cookware and hearty water cooker. Okay, that's not stuff I need yet. No. We're not just sellers. We'll also buy things from you, including gathering stuff from this island. We just want to support your efforts to beautify this island. We'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds and trash you bring in. Ooh, okay. Amazing. Yeah, I want to do the DIY workshop. Thank you. I haven't gotten to the bean just yet. Oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. I haven't gotten to the bean. You guys all voted. Thank you for voting. Let's pick out the bean for you guys. Did I finish the 100 infant challenge? No, I'm on a break. A well-deserved break. I got through like 60 something of those of those infants. All right, here we go. It's oh my goodness, it's white, which means I think it's a bean boozled. It is either birthday cake or dirty dish water. Let's find out. I did have an island before at the beginning of the stream. I gave an island tour of my old island and now I've just restarted, which is what you've done too, just PG. Right, here we go. Oh God. Oh, it's dirty dishwasher. Oh. Oh, I wanted birthday cake. Bad boozled wins. Huh. It tastes like soap. Gross soap. Ugh. Will those bad beans ever run out? Literally my question. Ugh, so over it. <laughs> uh, never ending Tori, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Evelyn, thank you so much for the stretch. I was stretched to the left. And we're stretched to the right. Ooh. Oh, that was good. And that girl, Nikki, thank you so much for giving treats to Chewy. Let's see if he's around. Chewy, do you want a treat? Chewy, do you want a treat? Here he comes. The Chewy comes over. We're going to give Chewy a treat. Say thank you. <laughs> thank you, that girl, Nikki. He sat right in front of the camera. Say thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. He's ready for the treat. He says, I was going to sit somewhere else, but I will come in for a treat, I suppose. Here you go. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right. Great. You just reset your island? Leah. Oh my gosh. Good luck. You're right there with me. I love it. I would have spat that out so quickly. You are brave. <sighs> yeah. I think I might just be used to it at this point. <laughs> I still kind of taste it. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes. The DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY. What do I need? So I shall put you down for the next available session. I'd love to. I happen to be free right this very moment. Yes. Let's get started. Yes. I've just found my one last week too. I haven't had one of my own in three years. Whoa. Can Chewie tell the difference when you're streaming versus when you're filming? Yes. Because streaming, streaming the door is open. Normally I let him run in and out of the room versus when I'm filming, I don't let him run out because then he'll sometimes bark. So he can kind of tell that which one it is. Um, he'll go up to the camera more when I'm streaming and he's gone. I know he was, was like, and I'm gone. <laughs> Welcome to my DOI workshop or I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. You'll understand what I mean. Basic ideas to gather materials, follow a recipe and then craft. We'll construct a fishing rod. Yes. This particular recipe will require me mere three, five tree branches. Okay, I'm gonna have to go collect some tree branches. BRB, guys. Wait, what's this? Is that my terminal? Nook stop. Enhance my island life. Nook shopping. It's a catalog for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal services as a automatic bell dispenser for the bank of Nook. Yes, I can put my Nook bank stuff in here. I remember that. Nook miles, lots of beneficial things. I kind of want to see what they've got on offer today. Oh, I got bonus miles. I forget you get it for checking. Select from the following services. I want to see the Nook shopping. <gasps> oh, a new hat. And new sunglasses. I have no money. I don't know why I'm looking. I'm like hurting my own feelings here. Oh, look how cute. There's like a whole Mario. You can make a little Mario world. <gasps> I want this crown so bad. I have no money. RIP. Oh my gosh. I also want the stashes, especially the Wario one. Oh, and the Princess Peach dress. Oh. You can even make it in the rugs. Ooh, so cute. Oh my God. Okay, well, this is making me sad. It's a pie pie and a shamrock rug. Oh. I have the Princess Peach outfit. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sign off. Thank you. We don't have any money right now, but we will get some money. Perfect way to sell it at Mario Day. I know, some Mario merch. Time traveling though to catch up to current. Ooh, nice, nice. Blue um, blue Emerald, thank you so much for the rose. Ink, thank you so much for the heart. And Catherine, thank you so much for the paper crane. Okay, let's go get some pieces of wood. Can't wait till I can hack some of these places down. I also can't wait till I can build a bridge so I can get to the rest of my island. I'm like, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the wishbone. That's okay though. I'll get you later other pieces of island. Actually, you know what? I could build a bridge with like terraforming. I think that probably comes before the bridge making. Maybe, I don't know. What's up? What's up dudes? Where are, are all the pieces of tree gone? Bro, do I have to like shake a tree? Maybe shake it, shake it, shake it. There we go. Shake it like this and you shake it like that. I hope I don't get uh, stung. This is one thing I don't want to do. We need five branches. How many I got so far? I got seven. Okay, no more. Thank you, goodbye. Shake, 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 shake it. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. <laughs> Just remembered I missed a present day. I got presents for my villagers and everything. Oh no. Well, now we're all catching up. He's reading a book. Literally same. That's me when I'm bored. I'm like, and eh, my book's out. Found the necessary materials. Hmm? Well then let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yay, I'm gonna go like a fishing rod. This is so satisfying. Oh. My lag is my 
live is lagging so bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think I just take a second to respond to you guys. I made a flimsy fishing rod. That was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple provided you have the correct recipes. Hmm. I tried making myself a Wednesday dress. Oh, cute. It was not great. Oh no. Not lagging for me. Okay, good gem. I'm, think I'm thankful for that. Oh, that's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you free of charge naturally. Mm, it's not naturally because you have a $12,000 peach dress. I tried making my own DIY peach dress and it looks okay. Well, the other thing that you can do is you can Google online like people's DIY outfits and then you can download them to your game so you never have to do it yourself, which is what I always did. First time watching your stream I used to watch on YouTube only. Nice, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Make sure to hit that follow button if you haven't already. Good to, good to be here with you. Oh yeah, DIY recipes. Now I can make a one of those benches by my house and i get a flimsy fishing rod it may not last forever but it should reserve you for a little while at least speaking of fishing i'm no master angler but perhaps i can give you a few tips in my experience you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line yes yes i would love to see anything you manage to catch i'm quite curious about the local fauna and i'm gonna sell all my fish so i can make money yes i would like to craft more things thank you oh i can make a nut i need Three more pieces of wood. Okay, I need I need three more pieces of wood for net. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna go get more net. Pinterest was my go-to for design. Same. I need some Sailor Scout vibes if I'm doing a Star Planet vibe. Oh, true. That'd be cute. <gasps> Wait, it dropped something. Where are you? Oh my gosh, what was that? A throwback rocket? Wait, what the heck? A rocket fell out of a tree in a deserted island? Well, I love it. <laughs> it's space themed, right? There you go. Nook Miles is like, I'm happy for you. You're doing stuff. Perfect. We got a new DIY and DIY tools. Okay, great. Give me two. Give me more, please. A tree said no more. Okay, fine. Okay. Did I get... I have four. I feel like this was five. Nope. I still keep grabbing, like, pieces of grass. I'm just gonna grab all the pieces of grass. Alright. Nope, I guess there was only four. Okay, I'm gonna shake this tree again. There you go. All right, now I got five. Woohoo! I love sitting down and adding designs to my game. I know, it's so satisfying. My villagers never wore the dresses. I know. How did you restart? So you go into settings. You can Google it. It took a second. You had to go into like your settings and do it that way. Okay, now let's craft something using the workbench. Let's give me a net too. It's Mother Day in the UK. I'm glad that I can hang out with you. All done for now. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna learn my simple DIY workbench. Cute, okay. And that one takes, I would assume some Stuff. Let me see what it takes to do the DIY workbench. Iron nugget and hardwood. Yeah, I don't have that yet, so <laughs> never mind. Um, can I sell you stuff right now? Just for fun? I want to sell. Yeah, I'm offering a bunch of pieces of grass and some peach. Confirm. I think he's gonna give me like oh 420, that's not bad. Sold! Nice! About the fruit you just sold me. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. Ooh! You can break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Now, it's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while, too. Okay, well, someday I won't need that, but thank you. Nook Miles. 
Okay. Is there, oh, there they are. Okay. Greedy weeder. There you go. Look at the bunch. Go ahead, be shellfish. There you go. Sell your unwanted stuff. Nice. Okay, I've got my first thousand. We're going to turn 5,000 for Mr. Nook to steal it away from me. Obviously. <gasps> Shady Shakedown. Yo. Carefree figure. Great. Getting all my stuff done. Heck yeah. Doesn't tell me you have another tab in the store. I don't if I don't think so, but I don't remember. Maybe. I've only played Dreamlight Valley. Oh, well, you're gonna have a great time discovering this new game. How do I like use my tools again? I felt like there was like a button. Huh. Can't wait to go villager hunting. Same. That's gonna be so fun. Okay. I guess I'll just like collect stuff. I don't know. I wanna go fishing. You have to buy the circle with miles. Shut up. Where do I buy it? I loved Bryce by Ails and Hazel. You have to unlock it. Okay, that's so annoying. I'm gonna just clean up a bit of these. I like the way they look, but I kinda want it a little more. Beautiful right here. Plus the back controls. That's what I was pressing, unfortunately. So I'm pretty sure I have to unlock it still. Where do I buy it? Is it under the miles strap? Like, where do I buy it with the miles? You have to equip tools from your pockets right now. Are, is it in my pocket? Oh, goldfish. Yes, it is in my pocket. Okay. Hold. There we go. All right, let's go grab a fish. First fish fishing on the first time. Fishing a fish. I'm gonna go find a fish shadow. Nothing to see here. Fishies, don't worry about me. I'm just looking for a fish shadow. Oh, nope, that's a butterfly shadow. Little, oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Come here, fish. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. That fish thought about it for sure. Okay. The fish is like right there. Oh, come on, fish. Come on, fish. How do I even do this? I don't remember. Is there like any other buttons I do? Get it, fish. Get it, fish! Turn around! Turn around, fish! Nook, stop. Okay. Good to know. Alright, well, that fish doesn't care about me. So, over it. <laughs> Gonna get the bobber in front of the fish. I know! I know! So, I asked it to turn around very nicely, and it did not. Drop the hook in front of the fish. I don't know how to move where the hook is, to be honest. I don't know if this lets me yet, but maybe I'm just forgetting how to do it. <gasps> Evil Bob, Joe Bob, thank you so much for giving five community gifted subs. <laughs> oh my goodness, that reminds me. We need to update our our stream goal here. Thank you so, so much. That's so generous. Catherine, thank you so much for the paper green. Ink, thank you so much for the heart again. And Blue Emerald, thank you for the rose. You got a second rose there too. Oh my gosh, and Inked gave 10 hearts. So that's amazing. All right, come here, fishies. Where are you, fishies? Why can't I find you? Probably because my island is very small right now. You gotta run in the water, oh, the fish. Don't press A too early. You get the run in the water or the fish. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bop. Okay, hold on. Get him. There we go. Maybe? Possibly? Oh, come on, fish. You suck. You suck, fish. All right, here we go. Right there. That's in front of the fish. I'm gonna wait. 
Come on, fish. Yes, fish. Yes, fish. Come on. Stop flirting. Oh! What do I do now? Who are your dream villagers? Uh, I really love... I really want to get the, like, squirrel that's, like... That's, like, um, celestial themed. Okay, here we go. There we go. I figured it out again. We got a bluegill. Do you think it calls me a pink log? My first fish. Let's go. First fish, baby. All right, let's go grab my flimsy net. I'm gonna go get my first butterfly. Yeah. Got a common butterfly. They often flutter by. Thanks. I'm gonna catch more so I can keep selling them. Yeah. Big game hunter, I know, right? Oh. I don't think this is gonna turn around. So. Maybe not. There we go. Here one. Here's one. Get him. Come here, fish. Come on, fish. Yes, fish. Flirt. Flirt. Ah! He's faked me out. Oh, here's a big one. Here's a bigger one. Come here, fish. Let's go, fish. Come on, fish. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah! Oh, my first pass. <laughs> Great. Okay, here we go. We're getting there. We're figuring it out again. We're remembering the good old days of this game. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's another one. This is relaxing. I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm like, this is great. I could do this forever. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Look how cute and small. The bitterling. It's mad at me, but only a little. It's a bitterling. I'm starting to get hungry. We're probably going to wrap up stream pretty soon here, even though we didn't get a lot done. But that's, you know, it's good for next time. Another one. Sand dollar. I saw a little thing there. I'm gonna make money in no time. Yeah, you're helping. You guys are all helping. When is next time? I stream on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. So Tuesday will be the next time that I stream. I stream a little later than this, though. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I can't wait to see you guys then. I don't know if I'll play Animal Crossing. I might, though, if I'm really in the mood. Or I'll be playing my Barbie Let's Play Legacy Challenge. But we'll definitely be adding this to the rotation. Oh, crap. I got too excited. I thought I grabbed it. It's okay. Just on this little sequence. Okay, here we go. Maybe... Oh, God. I can't reach that far. This, this fish just doesn't like me. Can you just turn a little to the right? Fish! Okay, I give up on your fish. Every time I see that fish, I'm like, maybe this time. I'm gonna steal this fish from his guy because I don't like him. Got it. Yes, another bitterling. Yay. I don't think I could ever restart my island. I've come too far. I only go by the sound of it. Yeah, I try to do that too, but sometimes I just can't. I just get tricked. I get duped. 
Do you think I've gotten any new stuff on my Nook Miles? Give me more Nook Miles. Yeah. Oh, two out of ten. Nab a bunch of fish in a row without a single one getting away to earn these miles. Oh, crap. That one's rude. It's like too much work. Build, build some bowls. Wait, can I go look at the bulletin board? Is that going to give me nook miles? Oh, we'll use this board to post more notices. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to visit the bulletin board to communicate with each other. Cute. That give me nook miles. I'm like, can you give me more nook miles, please? Inkling for perfection. I need 10, and I've only caught four. Boo. Oh, well. Let's see if uh, Mr. Nook is happy with my progress here. Scroll to the left to go auto point to points. Oh. Evening's what time zone? I'm up Pacific Standard Time. So I stream at around like 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time normally. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I found a creature. Uh, which one do you want? Maybe the bluegill? I think can support a bluegill. Why? Well, who knows what mother of my fantastic creatures we might find living here. I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum. Yes! <laughs> yes, I'd be okay with that! Okay, he's stealing my stuff though. Reminds me. But just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Ooh, okay. Post anything on the bulletin board to get those miles. Oh, I need to post on it. Okay, noted, noted, noted. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs, fish, and sea creatures you catch. Yay! I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward. Do I have to keep giving him the creatures in order for the museum to come? How many creatures do I need to give him for this museum to happen? I love the museum. Yes, yes. Send it all to the museum friend. Five? Okay, we gotta do five. I have. That's great. Come to think of it, I've been tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes. Yeah, send me more. Give me that museum. I love it. I love a museum. Five no doubles. Okay, that's what I assumed it was. No doubles. Require wood along with a recipe to craft an axe. Yes! Yay! I think an axe would come quite useful on this island. Many other things are made of wood. Hmm? Okay, I will bring you more. Excuse you. I have more creatures. All right, let's look at them. So I've got this bitterling. Okay, so that's three, and then I need two more. And I have one more. You need 20 to build the museum? Wait, really? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's giving me flowers. <gasps> yes. Do some planting. I don't have a way to plant them though. Or do I? Because I feel like I need a shovel. And another creature. Five for blathers to come. Okay, we're going to try to get blathers to come here. Black bass. Perfect. Yes. Okay. She's gonna take care of my black bass. I forgot to mention something. The flowers that will grow will be strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. But if you water them each day, that's where magic happens. Propagating. Is he gonna give me watering can recipe? Yeah, he gave me the watering can. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of boy thing for free. But you can collect new creatures for me, Kelsey. So this is a part of island give and take. I hope you keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Okay. Ooh, I got some nook miles. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. Get my miles. There we go. 
Anything else? Perfect. Okay. We're gonna we can build some more stuff. I think we can craft the watering can and an axe. Yes. So we need more tree branches and stone, and we need soft wood. So we need the axe before we can do the watering can. Okay. We will finish up with an axe here. The vaulting pole. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm gonna get the shovel from Bra Blathers. Okay, when does Blathers come? Come here. Come here. One. I think I need like two or three. Let's see how many I've got. I've got five. And what does the crafting recipe require? Okay. Means... I can build it now. Yay! Okay, let's go build a flimsy axe. He comes the next day, you believe. Oh. You just followed a welcome. I'm glad that you're here, fiction obsessed. Yes, we're gonna craft. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. When I play, I sell my shells and I get a bit of money. Yes, I'm probably gonna sell stuff too. All done for now. I made an ox. And my ox. We're gonna sell some of this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna sell my common butterfly because I already submitted one to Blathers. I'm going to sell my weeds and my shells. And maybe the bitterling too. Alright. Give me money. Nice. Sold. Here we go. We got some money. Okay. Ooh. Greedy weeder. Here we go. Now we're at 2k miles. Not bad. Good job, us. Fabulous. Okay, let's see if there's anything I can buy on the next stop. <laughs> I'm like, how close am I to getting the little hat? I know there's a couple things for 2k. <gasps> I, I'm almost there for Luigi and Mario's outfits. And their shoes. I could definitely buy their shoes now. What else? I know her hat is like 12k. So it's a little little far for me right now. Let's not work for it though. Because I deserve it. The shamrock rug. We're nailing it. We're doing great. Thank you for your patronage. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this up right here. We're really close to getting blathers on our island. I've like made like three of the main uh, tools and I have my tent and I've got a little bit of money to start. Everything is going pretty well so far. So I'm going to leave this one right here. But thank you guys for spending this Sunday morning with me and supporting me in my crazy decision to burn down my island to restart. I hope you guys had a fantastic day and enjoyed, you know, catching up on this more nostalgic, dare I say, uh, game. It was so, so fun. Make sure to follow me on all my socials to keep up with me. I will see you guys in the next time I stream or the next video I post. Uh, next time I stream is on Tuesday. Uh, make sure to keep keep an eye out for when I go live. Um, and, um, and also my next YouTube video is on Wednesday. So I'll see you guys all then. Bye!